are playing for McDonald's seems to be the only franchise that Ohio, so how can we have higher standards? Hey friends, welcome back to the Playground. My name is MJ and I'm reacting to Eminem's Untouchable. Yes, yes, y'all, we are back on the revival things okay i did not forget about you guys it's just so many requests it really is impossible to get through them all hopefully you guys had a good thanksgiving those of you that celebrated and yes i'm talking about thanksgiving days later because i know different people watch different videos that i make anyway if you guys are ready to get this reaction started definitely give me a thumbs up and let's press play untouchable untouchable here we go okay So he's doing a lot of the singing in the background thing. It's very interesting. I like it. Oh, oh, oh speaker's about to fall. Oh, oh. Whoa, wasn't prepared for that. What is he talking about? Is he talking about the cops? Cause like, okay. Okay, yeah, I knew he was talking about the cops. I already, from the jump, I have to tell you, this sounds a little too old school, like too Run DMC, too back in the day for me to, for my taste. But he's still spitting real shit. Okay, let's not forget. We know you're hiding at Heidi Klum, or you want another drug charge, homie, it's back inside for you. Heidi Klum. Is that mean, like, white girl? Is that what he's trying to say, in essence? That's hilarious. Right, do we be delighted to unload it in your back and walk up and lay the taser on the side of you? Fucked up, what, what? Wow, it, I like the flow of the song. I have to say that honestly. I'm not. I'm not, even, I'm not even joking. Again, I don't. I'm not crazy of the sound, but I do like the way like it goes. And it's six minutes though, so I'm like, how much does he really have to say on one song? Okay. I keep telling myself, keep doing like you're doing, no matter how many lives you're ruining. It's for the red, white, time to go find a new one. Man, so is he speaking from another perspective? Then is he talking as someone else? Is that what's happening? No one's ever indicted you. Why? Cause you're a white boy. I knew it. Man, if that's not true though. I love it. He just called himself out. Love it. I mean, not him, but like color. Ah, uh, man. This is why a lot of people didn't like it. But it's like he's only he's saying what people need to be a lot of people are thinking anyway but they are in his shoes but too afraid to say it and now i think my speakers died like are the eminem gods against me or what what is happening oh so this is kind of like i'm not racist by um joiner lucas okay sorry guys i know the sound is bad we're just gonna i mean we just went from a, a powerful speaker to like the little old 10s, okay? We're just gonna have to, all right? Okay. This is for real? I'm not racist. This is, I'm not racist, volume 2.0. I don't know if this came out before. I don't know, but I, they, this is why I see why they decided to do music together. They definitely have very similar train of thought. The swine. As I kick these backs and get these kids reactions, as this beat back spins, it's like we're drifting back. Oh, yes, yes, there you go. Yes, the beat just the everything, everything's working now. Let's go, let's go. I'm paying attention. History African Americans have been treated like shit, and I admit there have been times where it's been embarrassing to be a white man. Man, there have been times it's been, you know, I feel like anybody that's in any subset, any group that can be classified as anything, there are times where I'm embarrassed, I'm, based on other people's actions, I'm embarrassed being a woman. There's been times that based on other people's actions, I'm embarrassed to be anything, you know what I mean? To be, to have chosen a degree that I've chosen, to be going to a certain school, to belong to a certain group, like, I think everybody has had that feeling. He said, man, embarrassed to be a white boy. really mine in this Kid Rock vibe now. See, that's the problem. When you don't like the beat of a song, the person has to make up for it with the lyrics, and I feel like he does that every time. So, you know, I've got nothing bad to say right now. But I can see why people... 
happened twice. Let me, let me go back. I have no, no right to interrupt him. But I can see why people didn't like this because this is not exactly full-blown Eminem that they're used to. I can see that. But let me just rewind so I make sure I don't miss anything. Seems like the average wife's fan of a white man is more than twice than a black wife's fan of Wow. And that's not through natural causes, though. That's what's messed up. The price scanner, I feel like checking out a life can escape the circumstance. I'd rather hear him say die inward. Wow. But that's life strapped because we're strapped financially. We're applying for McDonald's. Seems to be the only franchise that are higher. So how can we have higher standards? He said applying for McDonald's because that's the only franchise that are higher. So how can we have higher standards? Man, that narrative is so interesting. What do you guys think? Because at the end of the day, like, I always feel like, you know, to a certain extent, we are like the architect of our own life to a certain extent, you know? But I also feel like, sorry, a message came in. I also feel like to also, be, to go back to what he said about the life expectancy, some of it is like because of gun violence, but I think others has to do with the stress that's put on them too, you know what I mean? I will never know what it's like, especially to be a black man in America. Let's put it that way, right? I'll never know what it's like, but I have heard the stories of like always being on a P's and Q's, always looking over your shoulder just because you're black, not because of anything else, not because you're doing anything wrong, not because you're breaking the law, and some might say that it's a choice. <laughs> some might say it's a choice but if you saw something happening to people around you that looked like you i think you'd be shook too and i've i've been a firm believer in, in that if a gun doesn't kill you stress will no lie that kind of stress that type of always walking around with like worry tension yeah that can end your life and then definitely can cut off if it doesn't end it it can cut some years off for sure anyway let's continue like that with violence but acts like that Black guys on the movement, which makes black lives matter. That, that's why it's at a stalemate and can't arrive at a compromise. One day, if we hire more black cops, the crap stops. The block is up. He said, can't find Call the attack dogs off of this man. You always act all pissed off. But instead of You want to hear something funny? My brother in law showed me a video recently. And it was something very similar to what we're talking about now. Someone being harassed with being black. However, the entire group of people that are harassing him. We're all black, okay? So this is what Joyner Lucas was talking about too. Like, you know what I mean? Like the story is not always what we think it is. The woman at the hotel, that, are, that the manager at the hotel was black. The cop that came to arrest him was black. The person who, someone else came on the scene, they were all black, is all I'm trying to say. So sometimes I feel like the black cops themselves have so much to prove and they want to prove like they're not on anyone's side and they want to show that they're neutrality. And some of them are just simply like self-hatred. And so they're even worse than dealing with someone that's not of the same skin color sometimes. Crazy, you know? Bad cops, fuck it up. But the good cops, and man, stop sending white cops in the black neighborhoods who ain't acclimated to them. Mm. seen some fucking videos of rappers waving guns. Ain't no nobody black, so they act afraid of us. Oh! Conscious racist, wait, why are Subconscious racist. Cause America segregated us. Oh. it into an area, separated us. Okay. Sectionated us when we oh. tear it up. The only time attention's paid to us. He's and going in. Who said the song didn't go hard? Education sucks and every day sucks. No, the Freddy Gray for us, a levy breaks up us. They treat us like dry iron. We just want a safe environment for our kids, but can't escape the sirens. Don't take the scientists to see our violent nature lies in the poverty that we think. Man, doesn't take a rocket scientist to see. Sorry if you hear my stomach growling. I haven't had anything to eat today. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that our violent nature lies in the poverty. Yo. These racial biases that plague our society, which makes our anxiety levels raise every time we see a devil's face. Wasn't I just talking about the anxiety? Wasn't I just saying that? Like having to live with that. That also shortens the lifespan. That's cray. Okay, Eminem, feed us. More like Billy clubs and gas, and we really love it when you think we're guilty because we're black. Mm. We kill each other back, you kill each other's cat. Single mother struggling through substance abuse while people with nothing to lose shoot each other for shoes. Fuck your republic. Substance abuse while wow. single mothers suffer from substance abuse why people kill each other with nothing to lose or something like that over some shoes Oh lord, I missed it already, but I, I got it when he said it. Wow. Why uh, why are people so against realness? I don't understand this man is speak. See, he's speaking the truth on this album and street sack is a narrative. Don't gotta read comics just to see that. Just to be black, you better be strapped with a danger. Or be Captain America like Steve Rogers. 
We done seen him beat Rodney King unconscious and got Man. Home, so we don't need all you Man. Peace peace offerings. Yes, we don't need your peace offerings. No, 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 no. Because when it's all said and done, when it all falls down, okay, when the person is gone, they're gone. The sorry is just not enough. Sorry is not enough, you know? Just keep marching. Keep marching. Till we reach Congress flag, but somebody has to be the sacrificial lamb, so they call it a Kaepernick tantrum. Better praise it, you'll be made to feel like a traitor will treat you like Rodney Dangerfield. Raise his hill, so this whole nation feels like a plantation. Foundation was based on United States ideals that had its natives killed. To a piece of cloth to represent a piece of cloth to represent a land that afraid that made people slaves to feel. To fall out of my seat. Oh wow, the next one's called Offended. I'm offended. I'm offended by the end of that song, but that's how he had to close it off. If he didn't just slap us in the face with the truth and then a grain of salt, he put a little flavoring in there so you could taste it. Wow, man. This man be make me jump out of my seat. I just, I can't. I can't. Wow. Like I said before, he said just what everybody wants to say, but they're not bold to say it. If he had to be the sacrificial lamb, then I mean, I guess he had to be, you know, but I feel like to a certain extent that information is only received, if at all, from someone, he, he has a better chance saying something like this than someone else. Because I feel like whenever it comes from someone of color, it's always people, people have the um, mentality and they have the notion of saying that the person is just playing a victim. So it's nice when it comes from someone that is not you know, in that group. Someone that it doesn't apply to, but just has enough empathy to say, you know what, this is not okay. This is not the USA. It's not the USA that you want us to believe that it is. Wow. Okay, we're gonna keep it going. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you. We are having tons of fun in the playground. I'll see you guys mañana. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>